Good evening and welcome back to Emily's Game, everyone. We are back in Starfield on the Zealous Overreach quest. We are returning to Ekris at the Morning Device, and we're going to find out what our next steps are in getting past this quest. So, I've already gotten us there. Let's see what he has to say. I understand. I saw a Nazco took measure of his burdens. What you are describing is a dream, nothing more. Not a dream. A message from the Great Serpent himself. With all due respect to your craft, dear sister, now is not the time for incense and ash leaves. Or do you not see the depth of the crater before you? On the contrary, brother. I see it for what it truly is. And if we ignore this vision, Anesco would be lost to us forever. Enough with the proselytizing. The Armager has returned. Ah, were you able to find Sahima? Indeed. Theoretically, yes. The science <clears throat> is sound, especially with Sahima's numbers. Either way, we have no choice but to take the risk of failure, as small as it may be. Whatever Anasco did inside the Citadel remains unchecked, and we are all at risk until we can get inside. Perfect. I have no doubt Sahima's work is the key to stabilizing the morning device. If only the others had listened to her, we may not have lost so much of our great city. This leaves houses Dulkef and Vathol. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anesco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed. Wow, so this feels kind of like the whole Asilis and the, um, the vi um, what do you call it? The thing that they wanted to make, oh my god, the inoculation, or whatever it was for the uh, Terramorphs, right? So if I pick one, is Sarah going to be pissed off at me if I don't pick science? Or whatever, I, see, I, I don't know, let's find out. I like this one. You're both right. We must have the faith that our efforts will succeed, but that means nothing without the science. It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world, and he seeks our aid. Yeah, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times, and the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Armager, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand, so that we may continue the work of saving this city. The Great Serpent sends you to me once again. Uh, I think my head is shrinking. <laughs> it's a... On the tightest setting, it's, it's still not right. Oh well. <clears throat> sure, you guys don't care. <laughs> Do you hear it? The great serpent speaks to you, guides you. I hear nothing. Oops. I have seen visions of Anesco searching for one bold enough to enter the heart of the vortex. And now that you are here, yes, that's me. I know your arrival was no accident, but rather providence. Oh, I'm gonna go with this one. Your city was in trouble and I came here to help. There's nothing else to it. And yet you crossed <clears throat> paths with the Oracle and found our city hidden among the stars. We'd have found it eventually. The great serpent drew a path for you, 
trickles of the greater plan drawing you here. But rest assured, all will be revealed when you journey north. At the edge of the crater, you will find a cave carved by the anomaly. There, you will make contact with a Nasco Varun. It would be unwise to ignore the Herald's counsel. She's so pretty. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Andrea's just a little hottie. I can't wait to make her my wife again. The Great Serpent has blessed me with the sight. And I have seen events there that are only now beginning to take shape. It is as the Great Serpent foretold. In my visions, I witnessed two futures. In the first, you breached the scaled citadel, but found Anasco had sunk too far into the void. And in time, all of Dazra was consumed along with him. Maybe we should just evacuate the planet. Yeah, let's just do that. Sounds easier. <laughs> Oh, I gotta know. Dazra was consumed? The anomaly spread, absorbing all in its path. The crater you see now is nothing compared to the destruction looming ahead. Indeed. But there is another path. In the second future, I saw you make contact with the Nasco, entering a cave through a formless wall. At its terminus was a gate, a path into the realm where our speaker resides. You stepped into this void, and in that moment, something changed. The false future rewritten. Uh, roughly speaking, it could be that entering the vortex directly would allow you to speak with him. And while my readings do not show any anomalous activity, I admit there's a lot of interference. Still. That only emphasizes the potential danger involved here. I cannot approve of such an excursion on the minute chance Anasco is present. <laughs> the closer one ventures to the heart of the anomaly, the closer they are to the phantoms and horrors that lie within. Moreover, if this cave was cut open by the Calamity itself, then it is an unnatural formation and highly unstable. Oh, I don't want to do it. I've said this much myself, but my sister persists. It may save us more time to inspect the cave than to continue these arguments. He just said he can't you condone it. You may not it. realize it now, dear brother. But our goals are one and the same. All right. Yes, we're going. Then you must embark to the northern edge of the crater. You will find an entrance there, one that has no form. Step through it, find Anasco, and complete the vision. Only then will his voice be heard. What does entrance with no form even mean? All right, cutie pie, let's go. We're going in style, girlfriend. What the hell? They look terrifying. The armature is attacking. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kill you guys. I will not aid you in this. No! No! I didn't kill nobody. They got up and ran away. We're, what? Why am I stuck? Ah! What the hell? Have you lost your mind? Yes. Is there even a mind to lose? No.
Do you even understand what you have done? No. What is there to say? <gasps> Come on, baby, I love you. I'm not giving up. You have just made such bad decisions. I have not. I would like to believe you mean it. I am going to do my best to get past this and continue our journey together. The next time we arrive in port, I am leaving. Lies. It would do you well to reflect on how you arrived here and what you want from your future. I know I shall be doing the same. So she's leaving the next time we arrive in port? Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Is something amiss? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Okay. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and it seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. Okay. I guess we're good. If you wish to know more, I will I be know. here. Very good. Okay. So we're good. We're good. All good. I just had to tell her. We'll work through it. Damn it. All right. Get back in the car. Damn it. <laughs> Ah, hello. You have my attention. I am at your side. We're well, getting the damn car. Let's go. Why walk when we can coast? Coast? Back off! Shit! <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. I don't like these guys. I don't like them in none at all. Baby, I spawned right in my face. I don't like these guys' ability.
<gasps> I hit him. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, my uh, mag snipers. Ride it on your sail. Oh, good night. Take it all. Let's go. Officer locker key and location. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh my god, you guys! This is insane. Oh shit. Brave Sir Robin ran away. <laughs> Can't take the heat. Why do you enter the kitchen? Jeez Louise. Oh, I want that sniper. You got a sniper? It's gonna be mine. Oh shit. Wait. Just a hard target. All right, nothing great. Holy hell.
Man, what am I shooting with? Saving. I just guess this is insane. Absolutely insane. I, I need to, um, I need to get rid of some shit. I'm picking like stuff up left and right now. I don't even know what it is. Really dropped our, uh, our resources there, or our, our weight there, so. Ugh, come on. Alright, let me deal with that real quick. I mean, it, it has a form, it definitely has a form. Looks like a heat leech. It's got another mouth. Oh my god. It's a person's hand. Oh, that's the creepiest shit I've ever seen. That was just this weird. It's got like beast claws, human hands, multiple mouths. Oh my god. I'm not freaked out. You're freaked out. I guess we have to follow the uh, the blue flowy. Am I wrong? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! What oh. is that? the hell? Oh my god. Jeez Louise. I ain't going back in that room again. Uh -uh. That way. No siree. Oh, you hear the freaky voices? Hmm. 
I'm just gonna follow the blue flag. It looks like footsteps. It is footsteps. I thought I was hearing footsteps. Blue flow goes this way. Okay, good. You guys are seeing that, right? Oh, there's a blue thing. You can't even see it. Ooh, baby. Into this void. And it answers with silence. Have you abandoned me, Great Serpent? Do you not hear my pleas? You... you understand me. Hear my voice. <sighs> but I do not know you. I hesitate to ask, but what manner of being are you? Do you truly serve his will? <laughs> I am the Great Serpent. <laughs> Now you stand here, a member of the Promised, guided by him. I have reached out so many times to hear nothing but echoes. Yet you, an outsider, hear me plain. And for the first time, I hear you. Clearly your arrival here is fated. By stepping into this void, we are now linked. There is still reason to hope the Great Serpent will see us through. But time is short. The bridge collapses. The gate is still open. The experiment still runs. Find me in the Scaled Citadel. I will wait for you there. Oh. Oh, shh. Mother. Son of biscuits. I thought we were going to have to fight them guys. Oh my goodness. All right. We do. Can I run out? And it answers with silence. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because I think we're like 50 minutes in now, give or take. I'm going to wrap this up, get this edited for tomorrow's posting, but this was intense. Um, we'll start the next episode after this one with me trying to get out of this freaking cave. Guys, I hope you like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think of the game, where you're at with the game. Guys, I love you. Take care and have a wonderful night. I'll see you next time. Bye.